Okay, so a cool shot, if you have time in groom prep, is to set up a flash inside of the shower. We could do this with a Gorilla Pod. The only problem is, in this setup, there was literally no way to wrap this around anything. The shower head is very kind of specific to this hotel. So instead, gaff taped it up. It's a me! Gaff tape! It's good for everything. Put some in your case. Back to the video. So what we have is we've placed the towel in a way where, you know, the, when the groom is showering, like oftentimes there's a curtain, there's something to kind of conceal. And so you just need a little peek uh, of him and his face getting ready. Obviously we don't want to do like a nude shot. So we want to do it kind of implied where either the shower curtain itself is concealing him or you have a towel concealing him and so forth. And obviously you're going to make sure that the groom is wanting to do this kind of a shot. This is a little bit more of the... I don't know if I'd say risque, but it's one of those shots that a groom would have to want for us to photograph it, but it's still a cool shot to have. And it's gonna be very cool when you see the final look to the image. So what I've done is I placed the flash up there and on the camera itself, I'm balancing this scene so that basically we have a very kind of dark and moody look. So it's right around, let me see where we're at. I turned off the wrong thing. It's right around one two hundred of a second, F 1.4, maybe we might go up to F2 and then maybe up to 200 ISO, but we're leaving everything in the ambient light fairly dark so that this flash makes him pop. We also gelled the flash with a CTO, so that way that color temperature orange gel, which you guys learned from lighting 101 and 201, is gonna change the balance of light so we get a nice look to the scene. So, Heath, go ahead, turn on the shower, and uh, it might be cold, buddy, so. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take a quick test shot. Okay. This is dumb. Gaff tape, ow, that freaking hurt. Gaff tape is awesome, keeps them in your bag. It's cheap, it's fantastic for many uses. But in cases like this, when the Gorilla Pod has nothing to attach to, like if we have a pole or something that we can attach this to, great, that's totally fine. But in a case like this, we have found a more elegant solution. And our friends at Tether Tools actually designed this guy. This is the SLX. And it's a little bracket and holder where you can put your flash just basically sitting right on this and then you attach that little bungee cord to it and it holds it securely and all you do is you take off this little adhesive thing on the back and you attach it to whatever smooth surface you want. And then you simply buy new packs of the adhesive tape and you are good to go. So you can buy new packs, I think it's like they come in like packs of 10 or 20 or whatever, but it's a fantastic mounting solution in places where a Gorilla Pod just can't go and when you don't want to use such an elegant solution as gaff tape, which is not very elegant. Let's move on. Okay. Is that water pretty hot, dude? Yeah, it's good. Can you uh, cool it down a little bit? Yeah. There you go. And lean forward a little bit into the light more. There you go, right there. Perfect. So all I need is one or two good shots from there, and then we're good. We're gonna let him do his thing. And if you want, if you're worried about the flash, you can pull it down at that point. But you can check this out. And what we see is just the him lit up in the frame. We have this nice open frame showing part of the room. Very dramatic, very cool looking. And it doesn't show any, obviously, no nudity in, involved in this kind of a shot. Okay, now once we stepped in, we can get some cool shots. And I thought it might be cool to have a little bit of that glow from the outside. But if you don't want that, just have the groom keep it a little bit cooler for just a little bit. Take a couple quick shots, get your images, and then go ahead and grab the flash and then let him do his thing. And once he's out, we're going to go ahead and do some prep kind of shaving shots with similar techniques to kind of separate him from the environment. So, we're done with this. Let's keep moving. Okay, so now... Heath is gonna shave, and what we're gonna do basically is we have this really cool sliding door. I know not all hotels have stuff like this, but we're gonna shoot and we're gonna open this a little bit so we can kind of get that similar voyeuristic shot that we did in the shower. But we're gonna do a couple shots just regular with the natural light in this scene. And then we're gonna put a flash right here so we can kind of bounce light in. Now, once again, normally what we would do is we use that Gorilla Pod. Do you have the Gorilla Pod? Why don't you give me the flash stand first, Mike? And let me show that. So since we have this opening right here, we're gonna place a flash just right here at this edge. Again, it has that tungsten gel on it. It's gonna fire in right here. And I probably will have you grid it as well, Mike, just so it doesn't spill all over the place. We're gonna raise it up to about six, six and a half feet. 
and then aim it kind of down a little bit towards his face. Now, normally what we do is use, again, the Gorilla Pod, just place it inside somewhere with one of these guys. I have this guy on here because I forgot my little adapter for it. But that's, again, how to light in a more tight situation. We're going to shoot this shot. We're going to work into the back and do some other shots. I'm going to talk through it as we go. So let's go ahead and place... Actually, Heath, you're good to get started. And just shave like you normally would, man. So kind of ignore that we're here. Which I know is weird. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm balancing the scene for that tungsten light, which our daylight that's bouncing in is turning this really cool blue. So what we're gonna do is also, Mike, can you move that chair out of the frame so I don't have that caught in the uh, reflection? We'll see if I, I might actually like it because it adds a little bit of shape to it, but we'll see. Is it right here? Yeah, right there's great. You can place it back in actually at the table where it was. That's really cool. We have this nice natural reflection coming off of this too, so I'm going to use that by just kind of positioning. And we get this great double reflection off that. Heath, lean back a little bit while you're doing that. There you go. We're keeping the uh, shutters fairly high, 1 200 of a second, F2 and ISO 400 because I don't want any motion blur in these kind of shots, so I'm just going to get kind of close. He's brushing that on. I'm going to go ahead and look at my highlight alert as well, make sure we're not blowing out anything in the scene. I'm going to make a little adjustment just so you can check. My white balance is right at 3600 right now. For a couple shots, I had a little bit of the water bottles in the background. Oh, I got it out. Okay, good. So I'm just adjusting so I don't see any of that kind of commercial pieces. Now we're going to go ahead and bring this up. I'm going to angle the head down a little bit. It's got the gel on it. And we have it gridded. Do we have it gridded? Uh, right here. You throw that on there. We're using, again, the mag mods. I'm going to turn on this top side unit. Let's go around to the other side. All right, Heath, go ahead and lean in. And go ahead and start shaving again. We're just shooting so we get this nice reflection off the mirror so we can see his face. We can get this beautiful reflection. We can see his back and we can see the room itself. So we're at 24 millimeters. So that way we've got the room itself. I'm at 132, 130 second flash power. I'm going to dial this down a little bit to 164. There we go. Just a perfect kind of kiss of light. Guys tend to make a lot of faces when they shave and so it's important to kind of look for the right shots because there's going to be a lot of the stretching of the lips and stuff so you can get you know around those corners and things so just watch for that we don't necessarily want a shot of the groom shaving and going with the lips it's not gonna be one of those things that you want to save so wait till he has like kind of a, a regular expression maybe he's looking down maybe he's doing something and if it doesn't happen you can direct him to do it but ideally i just want to set up a light and let him kind of do his thing so we're not kind of being too invasive but these look fantastic. Just bring the face down right there. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Great. Okay, we're pretty much done. If we want to get a few shots here and there as he's doing his hair or whatever, we can. But those are the main shots I need. I got angles of him getting ready. It looks fantastic. We got some dramatic stuff. We got some wide shots that kind of establish and some closer shots that show in the action. That's all we need and now we can shoot as we would like.